Hi everyone. This is Paul Lang and I'm doing a little demonstration video on how to set up hotkeys on the DOS platform. I want to make it clear I do not use this platform. I downloaded a trial version just to show people how to set up these keys because there seemed to be several people that had some confusion and I have set up hotkeys on various platforms that I have used so I didn't think it would that be that big of a deal to figure out how to do this. Um, it actually was very simple to do. I kind of took a little shortcut that may be um, preventing some of you from doing it effectively, but let's take a look how to do it. From the, uh, the platform, you just want to go to setup and then go to hotkey. Okay. And I'm trying to keep the window small, so I'm just going to move this out of the way. Whoops, wrong one. I want to move that out of the way so it's not in our way this whole time. And then, of course, you will have this open <clears throat> right down here. And this is the, uh, the hotkey uh, little configuration panel that comes up. Now, in here, you will find already built in are all of these pre-marked things. They do not have a key assigned. If you want to use any one of these, you just simply click here and then hit the key combination that you want, like control one or whatever. That's already been used because I used it on something, control, uh, control P, and, and there it is. Okay, and that's all you have to do. I'm going to edit that and get rid of that. If I want to use that key for something else, just delete key and it'll take that out of there. Okay. So then down here, and there's a couple in here you may want to use um, and assign keys to. Uh, but a lot of these, I think what they make it confusing is that they try and tell you to build your own hotkeys from using their pre-configured ones here. But it's really the more difficult way to do it. But a couple that are in here, like I picked up one of them and assigned it a hotkey, um, close all positions. Uh, I put Control Shift Q. Of course, you will want to put your own uh, keys that you want these to represent. Um, but there may be some others here you find. But let's just talk about how you want to do this. The first thing you need to do is actually decide what hotkeys you want. And this is a typical structure of what you would, would do. And set this up on an Excel sheet or something first. But there's really just three things you want to decide what you want to do. And, and that is, well, you want to pick the route that you want to use. And, you know, that's up to you what route you use. Generally, whatever platform you're on, I typically go with the default route or go with Arco. But if you have a specific route, that's great. That's a different issue. But whatever route you want to use, um, and you could pick different routes or different hotkeys if you, if you have a desire to do that. But I'm going to use on this, I'm going to use Arco for every route. And then the variables are the shares that you want to buy, whether you're buying or selling. And the third thing is whether you're going to buy, for example, right at the offer or if you want to limit the order to go up to three cents above the author or five cents or 10. So what I'm using the variables here, I'm using share size ranging from 500 to 3000 shares, and I'm using a um, offer plus three cents, five cents and 10 cents to buy. So the first set of hotkeys would be to buy 500 shares on Arca, um, three cents at the offer, then three cents over, and then five cents over, then 10 cents over. Now. You have to decide that that would be a lot of hotkeys and you have to decide based on the stocks that you trade. If you're trading very liquid stocks all the time, you'd never need 10 cents over. If you're trading always 10 to $20 stocks, maybe you know you're always buying between two and 4,000 shares. So that's the only hotkeys you need. Don't forget, you can still trade. It's just that you don't have a hotkey set up for it. So I'm just showing you a wide range of examples here of what you might use. So figure out the share size range you would have. And then for each share size amount, you're going to need to be buying at the offer. I, I don't have that listed here, but then the offer plus three, offer plus five. Okay, so map out what you want to do ahead of time. And then to set up the hotkey, and, and I imagine most of you already have that done. But then to set up the hotkeys, it's really pretty simple. I set some up in here, and here's the instructions up here. Click on add to add a new one. And then the key is that I think is a shortcut is to copy this right here. Copy that right there. That is just like a general formula. And you can see I set some up in here, like I have um, bid, uh, buy at the offer, okay? So the route is ARC or the price is exactly on the ask, and the share is 500 buy. And I've, I've tried this, hit control one, it works, it, buy, it buys 500 shares right at the offer. If the stock is a little spreadier, here's buy at the offer plus three cents, okay? Then sell to bid, sell to bid minus three. Just for example, let's, um, let's go ahead and set up the next couple of shares. So I use control one and control two to buy. I say three and four for buying um, 1,000 at the offer and buying 1,000 plus three. I'll show you how simple it is to do here. So I'm gonna add a new item. There we go. And I'm gonna call this, let's stay consistent. What do I have down here? I called it uh, buy offer plus three. So I'm gonna call this B offer 
plus five, five cents, okay? The hot key is gonna be control one, two, control three, I think, if I follow the pattern I'm doing. And again, you have to decide. Another nice thing about DOS actually is that it lets you use the, the number pad and the uh, numerical buttons on top of the keyboard separately. So you could have control one as one hotkey. So suggestion, you might wanna put control one through zero as buying hotkeys and then use the uh, keypad control one through zero as selling hotkeys. I mean, however you want to set up, that's up to you. That's not the point of this. That's just an organizational thing. And then in the script here, what I copied up here, I'm gonna paste that here. Now this is, is probably where the shortcut is that helps. You can go through and try and build this one thing at a time and it's more confusing if you put too many things and it doesn't work. Just simply paste this thing I have here and then change what you want to change. You want to change the route, change the route. You want to change the ask, change the ask. Now I decided on this one, this is going to be, I had buy it offer. So I want to buy it offer a thousand shares. So I'm going to be buy at the ask, ask is the offer, same thing, plus nothing. So I'm just going to erase that, boom. Shares equal, I'm going to change to 1000 and buy and that's it, okay? And you just simply, you, all you have to do is drop down and hit commit. Oh, yeah, I put the hotkey in there and boom, 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 there we go. And it is all set. Now, one little word of warning, if you wanna try this out, you need to hit okay, close out, and reopen the hotkey configuration. It won't work until you close it out, okay? So that's all it is to do. Um, the next key I would wanna do, then of course I have one, two, three, my next key control four, I wanna be buying a thousand shares, offer plus three cents. Let me do that one for you as well just so we got the idea here. So I'm gonna paste my script in there again. This is gonna be um, buy, again, I can't remember for some reason what I'm calling these, buy um, offer plus, plus three. I guess really um, that name should have the share size in there, right? You, know, you, you, don't, you don't have to, just so you know what they are. I, I'm just gonna leave it like that. You know that the different hotkeys have different amounts. So here I'm, I'm going to be buying at the ask plus three cents because I could, the one I copied was already there. So 1,000, boom, boom, boom. Oop, shouldn't, I, I copied too much. It shouldn't say in the script field. Did you, anybody catch that when I did that a second ago? <laughs> I'm not going to fix the video, but um, it, it should just say that. Obviously, I, when I went up here and copied, I copied <laughs> too much. That's all it should be. So um, boom, boom, boom. Hotkey is going to be control four, I think I'm on, right? Control four and commit, and there it is. But actually this works well. Actually I did that on purpose because now we're gonna go back and fix this one. So all you do is select the one that you want and edit this item, I just double click on it. Boom, 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 and get rid of all this extra verbiage I put in. So buy is the last word, buy, boom, boom, boom. Okay, commit. So here I added two more keys. Arca at ask, thousand shares buy for three, and then for Arca at ask, plus three cents buy. I tested the first two, they work just fine. I'm, I'm sure those will work. And then you go through and you, you do this. And obviously if you want to change the um, sell, to, the buy to a sell, you simply are gonna put in here that you're going to be sell at the end, S-E-L-L -L, like these are instead of buy. Change that to make the sells. And also if you, um, a nice little one, if you, when you're entering the position, you're buying or selling, but it would be nice when you get out of the position to not have to worry about how many shares you have. And you can do that by, I created one here clo uh, called sell position. And instead of um, the share size, you put in POS. So this is selling, if you're long a position, has selling at ARCA, right at the bid, minus three cents, and the shares are gonna be whatever your position size is. So if you just wanna exit a position, doesn't matter, you have 2,000, 3,000, you don't have to find the right hotkey, just do that. And then also in here, I picked up a, um, and again, you just do that simply by pasting that same formula I had, but just changing the share size to POS instead of a number, and that'll represent your position, whatever it is in that stock. And then I, I picked up one, one of the one that's built in here is close all positions. I just signed a hotkey to that too, so you can also use that. If you have only one position open, you hit that and boom, it closes out that position. If you have two positions open, it'll close them both out. So that's all there is to do this. Really pretty simple and straightforward. Go through and create whatever keys you want. Buy and sell, different share size, different uh, amounts over or under the bid or the ask. And, and then just assign the hotkeys that you want to use. And that's up to your organization, all right? You can see all the information on the screen there. There shouldn't be any need for anything else. But if you do have something else, you can email me, uh, paul at thestockswish.com. Again, I'm not going to have this platform all the time, so I may not be a tremendous help. But it is pretty simple and straightforward. It should take you like, well, you just saw me do it. I mean, it should take you, you know, if you're going to set up eight basic hockey, it should take you like 15 minutes to do it.
and you should be good to go. All right, thanks everybody.